Hi everyone, hope you're doing well on this fine day. In this video, I'll share how I take meeting notes in OneNote. Now, there are some debates about whether you should handwrite your notes versus type your notes. I use a combination of both, really depending on the purpose. For business recaps, I mainly type my notes in OneNote, so that's what this video will cover. Before we go into OneNote, I quickly want to share a recent online article I read on the topic of note-taking. The article is titled, Harvard Initiative for Learning and Teaching by Michael C. Friedman. Link in the description below. This article was geared towards students in a classroom slash lecture settings, but many of the main ideas apply to business settings as well. I want to highlight two ideas from the article. The first has to do with the trade-off between production and comprehension. Some people just type a way to capture every word spoken at the meeting. This is production. They're listening with the intent to accurately produce text on the computer screen, not for the main ideas being discussed. This transcribing process is a burden on working memory and it reduces comprehension. On the flip side, some people listen intently and actively engage in discussions, but don't write anything down at all. While this increases the meeting comprehension in the short term, they're probably not going to be able to recall all of the important details needed for meeting recaps. So how I manage this trade-off between production and comprehension is to pay full attention to the speaker until they finish their thoughts and capture the main points in my own words. This certainly isn't easy, but you do get better with practice. One way I help myself is to actively prepare for the meeting and orient myself to the topics that will be discussed. This could be as simple as reading through the meeting agenda ahead of the meeting and reviewing all of the pre-read materials in advance. Doing these make it a little easier to process and capture discussions during the meetings. The second point of the article has to do with the effectiveness of the meeting notes themselves. As a project manager, I'm responsible for sending out recaps for many meetings. It's important that my notes can be understood by those who came to the meeting and those who didn't. The notes need to be crisp and succinct, but it also needs to have enough context and must be able to stand on its own. This is a quote from the article. Effective notes are those that can be understood by someone unfamiliar with the content of the notes. Okay, with that out of the way, let's jump into OneNote. So here we are in OneNote. The first thing I do is add the meeting details. Create a new page, go to the home section on your menu ribbon, and select meeting details. Select the appropriate meeting. You can see that the meeting details have been added. Expand the invitation message to view the call details and any descriptions and agenda that may have been added. I can also expand and collapse the meeting participants to see the full list of participants along with their acceptance status. Once the meeting starts, I can check off all those who are present. Now for the actual notes, I add a table with two columns. I add plenty of rows since it's easy to delete unused rows later. The first column I label as topics and the second column I label as highlights. Then I pull topics from the agenda and add them to the first column. If I don't have an agenda, I can add the main topics as I flow through the meeting. For each main topic, I listen to the dialogue and capture only the big ideas, decisions, and action items. I separate these by bullets using the shortcut control period. 
I don't care if I make spelling errors along the way, as I'll correct them later. I select any remaining blank rows and simply hit delete to remove them. Then I select all the text that contain the spelling errors and use the shortcut F7 to bring up the spell check menu. This way I can clean up all spelling errors at once. Then I review my notes and tag all actions and follow up with the to do tag and assign who is responsible. For to do tag, I use control one. It pays to learn these shortcuts. When I'm satisfied with my notes and ready to share with the team, I go to the file menu and select send. Then choose the email option. You'll see that the to field has been populated with the meeting invitees. I then clean up the message body by removing some unnecessary information and draft my email message. Once I'm done, I'm ready to hit send. And that's it, I'm done with the recap. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, like and subscribe so I can continue to make contents like this. Thank you and bye now.